Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I want to show you a survival kit that you can carry in your pocket. It doesn't take up much room, it's pretty unobtrusive, attaches with a carabiner to a belt loop or your belt, and it has quite a lot of stuff on it. I want to show you what that looks like. I'll describe each item. Let's get to it right now. I put this kit together quite a few years ago and actually carried it for a long time in the glove compartment of my car. The idea was something more comprehensive than an Altoids kit and yet something that was easy to carry, just snap on and go. So that's the basic idea for this. Of course the carabiner and it's attached to one of these multi key ring systems. So they kind of slide around and it also has a release here at the top so you pull down on this little doodad here and what that does is that releases each individual tool so then it comes loose and uh, that makes each one a little easier to use so first of all I have a fire steel from firesteel.com of course this doesn't require a lot of explanation everybody knows what that is but it's nice and protected and of course fire steels uh, ferro rods can deteriorate after a while if you're not careful. So uh, this will help protect it as it's riding around in your pocket. On the next key ring, go ahead and release it. I have a small button light. Of course you can replace these batteries as needed and uh, this is the Photon and it's a really great light and it works great. Of course lithium batteries they last a really long time. I also just have a small inexpensive Ross Free knife, partly serrated and that of course you always need a knife and that gives me a cutting tool I have a stainless steel pill bottle inside of this I carry a couple of band-aids rolled up and they just ride inside of there and that gives me a little bit of first aid and these are o-ring sealed so if I do happen to get wet or it rains on me I'm not gonna lose that little bit of kit the next item we pull off of here is simply a nice glass magnifying lens and big enough and powerful enough to start multiple fires so this along with the ferro rod gives me two different fire starting options this being a forever fire starter because it never wears out and being in a nice case it's not going to get scratched in my pocket as I carry it around or as it bangs against the other items the next item that I have wrapped up in black electrical tape to protect it is just a small button compass and of course you would want to take this off of any metal to use it because you wouldn't want it to be affected by uh, any of the ferrous materials around it but again the black electrical tape helps protect the lens and the crystal which is just plastic from being scratched the next item that I have is this Leatherman Micra this Leatherman makes a lot of great tools and I like this one because it has some spring-loaded scissors and they're really great scissors they're sharp you need to cut leather if you're making clothes or stitching and repairing things out in the wilderness this will work great for you it has a nice tiny flathead screwdriver it also has a larger flathead screwdriver with a really nice pair of stainless steel tweezers on this side fingernail file and fingernail cleaner again very important to stay clean out in the wilderness another flathead screwdriver which you could sharpen and turn into a bit of a chisel it's got a nice point on it and then another small knife blade to go along with my main blade that I carry down there on the next key ring carry a couple of interesting items first of all in this stainless steel pill bottle stuff down inside is a tender quick fire starter and to get these out of course I can use the tweezers down here on the Leatherman Micra to pull that out but uh, this is of course dry tinder that I might need to start a fire in an emergency the next item is a small fishing kit and it uses a swivel fishing swivel fastened down in through these two lids what you do is you take the top to a water bottle and you cut it off and then you make it where one side glues on and the other side can be taken off and in here I have hooks and sinkers and also I have a fair amount about 50 feet of 80 pound test spider wire fishing line and it all fits 
in this very convenient little round package. All of these items are sealed up with number 33 electrical tape. It stays sticky for years. I mean, I've literally had this on here for probably more than 10 years and it just continues to stay sticky. You can take it off and reattach it. So number 33 electrical tape is really, really great. For the last key ring, and I have several attached on here just because I ran out of room, I'm gonna take that off. And the first item I have is some Gorilla Tape. And there's about 10 feet attached to a diamond sharpener. It's a fish hook type sharpener that you can get uh, at any fishing store for sharpening hooks, but it's also coated with diamonds. So this is my knife sharpener, and I've got it wrapped with a little bit of cellophane tape, and then put this tape around it just to kind of protect everything and keep it secure. I also have a brass safety pin, because you never know when you might need that just to pin something together quickly so you can get to a repair. I also have some larger type pill bottle holders. And in here I have another Tinder Quick Fire Starter stuffed into the top. And down inside this container, I have a couple of more Band-Aids. And I also have a very small bottle of potable aqua water tabs for purifying drinking water. It fits down inside there very nicely. So again, a little bit more medical, another fire starter tab, and water purification tablets. In this other container, I carry a small oven bag, cut down to size, and this is for using my potable aqua tablets for purifying and carrying water in. Last but not least, most of you know what this is, a P38 can opener, in case I would run into a place where there might be some canned food, an abandoned cabin or a hunting cabin that was closed up, I could get into it and uh, might have some canned food that needed to be opened. Last but not least, carried in this little nylon pouch is one of the cheap plastic rain ponchos. This is my cover. So with all of these items together, it can be easily carried on a belt, easily put off and on in a very quick situation. So combining the small rain poncho with all the other items, I have a kit that will very easily meet nearly all of my survival needs. Fire, water, shelter, getting food, even some signaling using the fire, of course, navigation with the compass, and some simple first aid. And it all fits very easily in a pocket with this attached to the belt. And here it is, all put back together, and it's very easy. It looks very bulky, but it rides pretty flat in your pocket, actually. And you just stuff it down inside of your pocket, work it in a little bit, make sure it lays flat, attach the carabiner, however you wish, to a belt loop or a belt. And nobody knows that you're carrying a full-on survival kit in your pocket, including shelter. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. Down there, you'll find our waypointsurvival.com link. This is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft training at our facility in Southern Ohio. You'll also find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel and you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. You'll also find our spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. And all the proceeds go to help us in our research to bring you great video content. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.